Hey guys, this is Neon. Welcome back to Clownfish TV. And this is not a drill, not a drill. Netflix has made some huge announcements in regards to uh, some beloved anime franchises. Uh, some of them are very, very good. And uh, one of them is very, very questionable. Um, so we're going to start off with the good news first. The good news is that Neon Genesis Evangelion is coming to Netflix in spring 2019. Freaking unbelievable. I guess, you know, it had to happen eventually. Uh, but uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion is one of the most popular anime series of all time. It's one of my personal favorites. It is, uh, has been confirmed as of uh, two days ago that it is coming to Netflix in the spring. Now, what we don't know and what I haven't heard uh, anywhere really is who's handling the dub. We don't know if it's going to be the original dub uh, from ADV, which really put ADV on the map, or if they're going to have a new voice cast, which I, I really I don't want to see, but who knows. So um, they did drop the trailer. It's got a half a million views. And uh, here's some news. Here's some news on... Uh, Evangelion coming to Netflix. Um, the beloved and deeply disturbing anime series Neon Genesis Evangelion is heading to Netflix. All 26 episodes, as well as the films End of Evangelion and Evangelion Death, uh, will be available to stream come spring 2019. Set 15 years after a cataclysmic event, Evangelion follows a mysterious organization called Nerve as they fight against alien invaders known as Angels. The only thing stopping another disaster is a group of teenagers who pilot giant mechs known as Evangelion units. Most people know this. The show has been around for over 20 years now. It is hugely, hugely popular. Some other anime coming to Netflix include uh, Saint Seiya and a new Ultraman series. So this is uh, this is pretty cool news. This is pretty cool news. I, I don't know how I miss this, um, but I'm super excited about it. Now, now some sites have talked about uh, you know how hard it has been to get a hold of the original Evangelion series that the DVD, the DVD uh, Platinum Collection goes for uh, hundreds of dollars. I actually have one in pristine condition, and no, I'm not parting with it because we don't know how long it's actually going to be on Netflix. Um, but I do, I did manage to snag uh, the Platinum Collection, and it's uh, uh, tucked away in a very safe place. Um, so now with all of these announcements, all of these anime news announcements, uh, Netflix also said they're going to uh, be doing a new Cowboy Bebop series. That's exciting, right? Well, uh, no, it's, it's not really exciting. They're going to do a live-action Cowboy Bebop. Now let's think of live action Cowboy Bebop. I don't, I don't think this is a good idea. We're talking about beloved anime, and some things only work in animation. And I really think Cowboy Bebop, uh, with its style, style is very much a part of of the show. I don't think it's going to work in live action. I think it's a terrible, uh, terrible idea. Netflix, uh, no, <laughs> just no. Um, so here we go. Cowboy Bebop, live action. We only have a teaser trailer and a list of writers, directors, producers, and supervisors, but it's enough to get a certain jazzy anime theme song rocking in our heads. Uh, watch them not even use it. Watch them not even use it. Uh, that's right. The late 90s Japanese cartoon Cowboy Bebop is coming back as a uh, live action series. Yeah, I think this is terrible. I would love to see a movie or a follow-up anime, um, but not... Not uh, not a live action, not a live action movie. Uh, Netflix posted the news announcement on Tuesday night. Though unfortunately, it had nothing in the way of series footage. Yeah, I don't think they have anything done yet. His cast hasn't been picked. Plus, the reveal video foregoes music, so there's no telling whether the original composer will return. Uh, I I'm thinking that might not happen. But the series premise for bounty hunters roaming the galaxy in search of hard-boiled hijackery appears to be intact, according to a follow-up press release. Netflix, in apparent attempt to uh, combat these uh, live-action uh, responses, immediately informed fans that original animated series director uh, Watanabe will participate as a consultant. Well, that doesn't really mean anything. I've seen some really terrible, terrible uh, adaptations done with the original creators uh, brought on as consultants. The press release also confirmed that the series' original Japanese production company will share executive producer duties. Again, that doesn't really mean anything. It just means that they kicked in some money or they had some say in the series. Uh, but the project otherwise doesn't appear to include other original staffers and has hinged on the first episode's writing duties. Um, the first episode is being written by Chris Yost, who uh, wrote Thor Ragnarok. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I like Thor Ragnarok, but I don't, I don't know how that's going to go <laughs> for Cowboy Bebop. Oh, God. 
Uh, this announcement doesn't include an expected release date, uh, no cast. It does officially be a long rumor project to the punch that Keanu Reeves has been linked to for years. I think he actually would have been good if you were going to go live action with Cowboy Bebop. I think Keanu Reeves might have actually been decent back in the day. Um, so fans have been quick to remind Netflix that a live action series about a ragtag, imperfect crew of bounty hunters flying around a wild sci-fi universe and set to a gorgeous nylon string score already followed Cowboy Bebop. I'm assuming we're talking about Firefly. It's somewhat easier to get excited about Netflix's other announcements. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so I'm not... I gotta tell you, I love Cowboy Bebop. I'm not. I'm not on board with this. I think this this one should be left alone. Uh, I'd be on board with um, a follow up series or a spin off series uh, with the original showrunners, the original studio working on it, but not not live action. Now, immediately, you know, the internet, being the internet, has decided that uh, hey, uh, let's remind uh, Netflix, let's remind Netflix not to uh, whitewash Cowboy Bebop. Let's not whitewash Cowboy Bebop. Uh, you know, so this is coming from sci-fi wire uh oh sci-fi we love you um so they're talking about the adaptation and immediately instead of being cynical that the project is happening at all because i don't i don't think this is gonna go well i'm, I'm gonna be honest um they said this is where the cynicism builds cowboy bebop is a perfect piece of entertainment sci-fi action adventure with inspirations taking from film noir, spaghetti westerns, war dramas, cyberpunk, and jazz. I agree with all of that. It's a show that manages to be hilarious one moment, then heartbreaking the next, and its ending remains one of the best in anime. Um, yeah, it'd be really hard to follow that up. Inevitably, a live-action adaptation will get things wrong, and that is something fans will have to accept. The adaptation process is tricky, and 2018 is a very different world from the 1998 of the anime's premiere. That is true, but here we go. We can accept change, but there's one thing we won't stand for, do not whitewash the show. We know the excuses that would be used if an all-white Cowboy Bebop show was announced and we don't buy them for a second. This is a show that was heavily inspired by Americana and to Western eyes, the characters are not specifically coded as Asian. Um, although it has been well documented that the main inspiration for Spike was Japanese actor Yasuku Matsuda. Uh, yes, this is a show about humanity spraying across the galaxy and that was never limited in one race, but these defenses come with obvious blind spots. Cowboy Bebop is American expired, but America does not instantly equal white. Nothing about Spike and the Bebop crew is defined by whiteness. So why the eagerness to assert them as such? Nobody's asserted anybody as anything at this point. They haven't cast anyone uh, they haven't cast anyone for the show. The show is just a, a thought at this point. <laughs> it's they're, they're going to do it. They're writing a script. There is no cast. So we're sort of uh, making an issue um, where there doesn't need to be one. But again, you know, yeah, okay. Uh, I will give you this. Ghost in the Shell. Um, yeah, I will give you this. This has happened with Ghost in the Shell. And it has happened with uh, Avatar. Um, so, but immediately... Immediately, the first go-to is don't whitewash. <laughs> don't whitewash the show. Now, here's the thing. I actually kind of assumed, uh, you know, maybe it's just my Western eyes, but I did assume that some of the characters were actually meant to be uh, Western, uh, especially uh, Jet Black. I always assumed he was kind of a gruff uh, Western dude. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure how they're going to handle this. Uh, you know, I, I personally am going to reiterate, I think doing Cowboy Bebop uh, at all, as a live action series is just asking for trouble. You can't, you can't uh, outdo the original. It is a, a, a masterpiece. Um, it's considered one of the best anime of all time. Uh, anything, anything, regardless of who you cast, uh, any any live action version of Cowboy Bebop is is going to be a pale a pale imitation. Uh, of the original, and I, I'm really um, kind of disappointed that Netflix is going there. I'd, I'd rather see Netflix uh, make new uh, anime, you know, uh, bankroll new anime, or you know, create uh, sequels um, to beloved anime series with you know the original uh, creators, uh, the original um, studios. Um, this is not what anybody wants, <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But this is, you know, we've got Cowboy Bebop uh, coming back as a live action reboot. Uh, we've got um, Avatar. The Last Airbender, they're rebooting that in live action. I, I don't know how that's going to go. Uh, even though they do have the original creative uh, team in place, I don't know how that's going to go. Um, I just don't think I don't think anime works in live action. I don't think it really works in live action. No one's been able to really capture that feeling successfully. We'll see. 
I'm not even excited about Battle Angel Alita. I, I, I think it looks weird. I think her eyes look weird. <laughs> you know, I mean, I think they're trying to make it look more anime, but it just looks weird. Um, so we will see. Not excited about this. Hugely excited about Evangelion. Uh, really excited about Evangelion. Uh, coming to Netflix. So, what are your thoughts? Do you think, uh, you know, Cowboy Bebop in live action? Do you think that's a good idea? Are you excited about Evangelion? Uh, what about the new Ultraman series? Ultraman's coming to Netflix, too. That's pretty cool. Um, so, Netflix is definitely, uh, you know, I think the place where, uh, you know, anime... Uh, they're going to replace Crunchyroll. I think they're going to replace Crunchyroll. I think C Crunchyroll shot themselves in the foot, and uh, all the all the cool anime is coming to, uh, coming to Netflix, I think. Um, except for Cowboy Bebop, I think that's a bad idea. Are you excited? Are you not excited? Uh, comment below. Uh, let us know. Please subscribe to Clownfish TV for more pop culture news, views, and rants, uh, gaming videos, art videos, and more. This has been Neon. I'll talk to you later.